Hey guys and welcome to a new World of Tanks gameplay video. This is going to be a really quick Type 59 game. Um, and uh, you know, I unlocked my T124, sold my T30, but I still need about 3 million credits to buy the E4. Uh, so I'm I'm doing quite a lot of credit grinding this weekend. Uh, of course, being a weekend, it's going to be you know uh, quite painful uh, with the teams you usually get on weekends. So there's going to be a bit of raging, but uh, what I wanted to show you in this video is a really good spot uh, on, on El Haluf when you're starting on the west side no matter what game mode, uh, normal game mode or uh, encounter uh, most of you will already know this spot but uh, you know I wanted to bust it for those of you who don't obviously so all you need to know is D6 if you're in a fast tank medium or light uh, that's really a, 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 an awesome spot that's the place to be because what, what, what you do there is uh, it's a bit tricky but if you do it right, once you figure it out, you will be completely safe there in cover. Um, and 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 what what it does is you spot the entire uh, enemy cliff uh, side, you know that that whole ridge thing. And getting a lucky shot on that T34, and uh, you're pretty safe. So so if if the enemy team is 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 kind of stupid, then they will all rush down trying to kill you, and you will catch them completely in the open. And your allies on 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 uh, in your base on on your side of the valley can just snipe them out. Here I'm just taking a couple opportunity shots. You know I'm shooting what I can. If you're here in this position, this is quite dangerous. Now there's no RT, but in 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 in, in higher tier battles with lots of RT, RT in G0, uh, you know, Hotel Hotel 9, they will be able to hit you here. So you're really gonna have to have to figure out uh, a way to, you know, stay in cover from both Alpha 3 and and uh, Hotel 8, there uh, that 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 uh, down slope where uh, often enemies hide, where that E4 now is going. You will be completely caught in a crossfire between between those two sides, and also from uh, from C7. But so you really have to have to figure out a way to to stay safe by uh, you know timing the enemy shots, constantly moving, or uh, indeed just staying stationary, staying in camo, and uh, you know if you're not seen, then you won't get shot at. Here it is, Lerbeck is coming down. Uh, you know, he was pl probably planning to go in straight into the cap, but he saw me here and he sees an opportunity, so he's going to kill me. And he should be already dead by now. I mean, a a, a, a German tank, slow as that, there, completely exposed, completely in the open. He should be dead within 10 seconds. Um, but you know, my team isn't too good either, so they're just completely ignoring him. And I really want to get, you know, these these little tanks. They need to die. No, I'm just brawling my way out of here, trying to stay safe. Uh, of course, the lower he gets a shot on me, he gets more than one shot on me. And it's just not acceptable that he's still alive right now. No, it, even in random battles, it, no matter how bad it, your team is, that should not happen ever. He he really is, should be already dead by now. Another guy comes down, so I track him. <laughs> you constantly have to look at the minimap. That's very minimap is important here because you're you know exposed from three sides. You can't look at three sides at the same time, so you have to work with your minimap. You know, see where the enemies get spotted, where they are, to figure out where you have to be to to be safe. Here I'm just relying on my armor to bounce those T-34 shots. And they keep coming down, I don't know why they... I mean, <laughs> three guys come down here, they all die, do nothing, and, and, and somehow they think that maybe, you know, it, for them it will work. But obviously it doesn't, and here I'm asking my team why they cap, and this is, this is the point. Why, why are they capping? We're obviously winning, all we have to do is mop them up, mop the enemies up. They have no chance anymore. What you do with capping is, is you, you basically deny yourself damage 
damage upon spotting, kills, XP and credits. It's simple as that. Capping barely gives any XP or credits to the team. Whereas the, the, the shared damage you do during a battle does. And I'm just, you know, telling them stop capping, it's not necessary. All they're doing is, is fucking up your average XP and, and, and credit gain. I mean, really. And also, yeah, th because they didn't push all the way up and into that village in Alpha 8, my sides remained exposed at all time and a T-44 came down just to kill me and they didn't even shoot at him, they just ignored him. You know, fucking annoying. It's just the teams I've been getting during weekends. I mean, teams everyone gets during weekends. It's just, it just boggles the mind. But anyway, I think uh, I I I I think it was a good demonstration of of this spot and how to use it. And I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.